Hi, my name is Frank. I'm with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City at 4001 South State, here to show you another great trailer from Forest River R-Pod. This is the newest floor plan just came in. This is gonna be the front Murphy bed, drop down with a big bathroom in the back. Um, just a little over 3,500 dry weight on this unit. And we're gonna take you through a quick little walkthrough. Um, everybody knows, uh, anybody that does know the R-Pod, they do know, um, infamous frog uh, this particular floor plan we have the frog sitting up on the mountain uh, pretty set up for Utah range um, just below the frog as we uh, come into our front slide out kitchen um, which has a two burner stove little spray port just to the right spraying off the dog spraying off the pots and pans little sink set up right here does come with the uh, gas quick connect uh, um, hose which actually hooks up right up front here which will be connected to your propane tank. So we have that, you can throw a splitter off of there, um, run a camp chef or a barbecue in addition to your tear burner stove. Um, this is the pet friendly version. And if you see the sticker up here, what we do have is a few features through here that are pet friendly, leash latches to the trailer, stuff like that. Um, coming out to the R-Pod, they have been coming out with the electric awnings. This is also equipped with the electric awning. I like how these have the shock absorbers where it does help when you have a little bit of wind blowing this awning and you can still bring that in with tension on the awning. Um, adjustments to have this tilted left or right to have that rain dissipate off to the left or right hand side. And once again, the electric awning, really, really nice feature to have on the R-Pods. Um, we do come with the the doors and a lot of people come in and open these doors and think that the hinges are maybe rusty or bad but these are actually called fr friction hinges um, to withstand about 25 mile per hour winds so they're not going to be slamming into your awning or slamming clothes getting pinched fingers stuff like that so uh, alleviates the cam um, will not go back so you can't latch the door but that friction hinge is a really nice feature separate screen attachment so you can actually have that closed up Close up everything, keep the bugs out, but keep the airflow going. Now we do have the uh, entry assist handle. This will fold away, lock in your door as you're traveling, but nice lock in, stable setup for the walk in. I um, want to talk a bit about the outside. Um, the sticker right here, if we look at that, a lot of people ask what Asdell is. It's a man made woven product that actually adheres to the fiberglass exterior. So not being plywood, not accepting any kind of moisture into the wood, um, this will actually alleviate any kind of uh, moisture in the wood, freezing up, uh, detaching the glue, bubbling up, delamination. Um, great product to actually um, have on the exterior of trailers these days that just, uh, and you've probably seen trailers down there several years old that start doing that bubbling around the windows. And this is what alleviates that. So as they'll board, look into that product. It's amazing. Our pod uses that. So we do have the uh, nice big kitchen window. Um, probably one of the biggest so far that we've seen in the R pods. Cool to look out, sitting in there eating your breakfast, watching deer sit outside, or watching birds fly across the lake, whatever your, your camping uh, you know, setup is, but nice big view from that kitchen window. Um, little porch light out front for nighttime underneath the awning, brightens it up pretty nice. Two exterior speakers. Now to talk about these speakers, a lot of people ask why they're popping out and if you can see that, they are sticking out about an inch and three quarter, two inches. Um, what it is is the speakers attached to the side and what we don't want to do is cut a great big hole to recess the speaker. What does that mean? A big hole, that's all there is to it. So what they do is attach these, have a small little hole where that wire comes out so you're not having any kind of intrusion into the um, you know, exterior of your of your trailer at all. As you're cruising down the road or anything, it's nice and sealed. They are weatherproof, waterproof speakers. Um, nice feature to have just to talk a little bit about that. Um, we come out here, so we do have the, you can see the, um, the uh, it's, it's a nice big tire, raises this up off the ground, but we have the big 15 inch tire um, and rim. It is an easy lube hub, so you pop off that little cap. It's gonna have a grease cert right here. You pop that a few, three, four times. It, it packs both bearings inside that tire. If you didn't know there's two bearings in there, you do now, but it does grease both. It's nice preventive maintenance. We do have this nice solid um, steel fender well. It doesn't extrude uh, as much as the other R-Pods, a little wider frame on these, but this is really nice. Um, you're not gonna have this flimsing up and blowing in the wind as you're cruising down the road. You can see how stable that is. Um, coming across the outside here, we do have two 110 outlets. 
You set up a table out here, plug in for electric griddle, a blender, anything that uh, you're using as you're camping, but nice to have that power set up outside. It will run through your 30 amp service and, and exit right here so you can actually utilize that with plug-in short shoreline power or generator. Black tank flush. If a lot of people don't know what that is by now in trailer business, um, what that is, it's a great big sprinkler head that sits over the black tank. Um, when you go to flush out and clean out your black tank and your, and your trailer and, and dump, you hook up a hose to this, turn it on, and it just sprays everything uh, out. And it's, a, it's a nasty thing to think about, but when you're traveling with that black tank, stuff sloshing around, you want to clean off everything, clean off the sensors, um, and the sensors will activate inside in your control system that will actually show you how full your tanks are. You don't want to get that clogged or covered. Black tank flush is essential. We love ordering these with them and it does help quite a bit. Um, coming around the outside here, what we do have is uh, the, the jacks, stabilizing jacks are going to be scissor jacks, four point scissor jack location. It's a good stout build. They tuck up nice and tight to get that clearance as you're cruising over hills or anything get into your camp spots. But when you stabilize this, you get inside and we'll get inside there and give you a little shuffle. It is a pretty, it's very, very solid, solid base. Um, we do have a little rain gutters, kicks off the, uh, uh, the water away from the coach itself. So as that water comes off the roof, hits that little trough, comes off, and it's gonna be about this far off where it's dripping down. So you don't have this all rain water and dirt coming down here. And, uh, and messing up your coach. Six gallon hot water heater. There's your uh, face plate for it. You do have your access roof to the uh, um, uh, ladder to the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. Um, you get up there and do a little preventive maintenance, check around your seals, anything along that line. They do come with a 10 year warranty on the roof and uh, our pod uh, just exceeds itself on, on just their, their structure and their builds on, on these uh, Forest River product is just, it's, it's a really nice product. When you come in to walk through, you're, you're gonna see a lot of benefits that we can walk through with you and show this all over again. Um, comes with a full size spare. Um, we do have a little light above the uh, uh, license plate, um, good solid bumper system structure in the back, 30 amp service. And as you can see, you have your two dump locations right here. Now with this, it's a nice easy, you got your gray, um, gray water and your sewer outlet, which is your black water. And you just swap those hoses over. Once you've finished with one, you go over to the other one. So I would suggest black water first, get that hose, hook it up to the gray water, flush that hose out and continue cleaning out. Black tank flush when you're doing the black tank on the other side, really convenient. Cable satellite hookup. So if you're at a park somewhere, you do have a, an external um, dry camping satellite system, you hook up right there, it goes in through your coach. Uh, 30 amp service. This is a screw on, a lot of them are going to this, but our pod was this for, has this, had this for a long time, still do where you screw this on, prevents it from any kids walking around or anything where it's going to rip that out and do any kind of arcing. So it's a nice lock in uh, power system. Back again to the tires on the other on this side as well. What I didn't mention on the other side is this is a torsion suspension. So it's not a leaf spring suspension. Um, look up torsion suspension to see how that's built, but it's independent suspension system on each tire, which really helps with your, any kind of crawling over certain areas where you're camping. Coming out here, we do have the uh, uh, the outside shower, hot and cold, do your mixture, set up here, closes up, latches out of the way, but a uh, really nice feature to have. You can set up, a lot of people set up a small tent out here. They can spray off, shower off outside if they want to as well. We have the additional shower inside, of course, but nice to have this outside. Spray off the dogs, the kids, such such as that. Um, here's your fresh water. Uh, you have your fresh water connection and your, your fresh water fill. So a 35 gallon fresh water or 31 gallon fresh water tank. Um, you do have this access point hook, take that cap off, put the hose in there, fill it up until it just uh, it's full and uh, that's your dry camp and setup. When you are set up at a park, you hook up your fresh water uh, with your hose and it's gonna be pressurized to your hose. Do recommend some kind of pressure regulator that we do sell here at the Motorsports Land at our parts store. Um, very inexpensive piece to put on there just to alleviate any kind of pressure uh, surges that could pop your fittings on the inside of any coach. So we, we definitely recommend that, but unlimited water when you're at the park there. You do have your storage, um, your through storage, nice deep closet space, um, all kinds of stuff. You know what you bring camping, 
it will fit in here. Your chairs, uh, umbrellas, anything, paddles for your canoe, stuff like that. Um, fits in nicely inside and you have actually a bigger door both on both sides, which is nice. <clears throat> As we talk about up front here, we get to the front. Now we are um, equipped with a front window, which is just beautiful. We'll open that up. This is over the bedroom itself, and this is a Murphy bed set up as we spoke of. Um, but when you drop that Murphy bed down, open up these blinds, such a nice, just, just clear view through these windows. It's, it's amazing. It is a solid auto tempered glass. Um, a lot of people ask about stone chips. Realistically, as you're coming off your car where you're this far away, coming up, any stone chips you're gonna have are gonna deflect this and down. Um, but we have uh, had these tested and they're just leak proof, waterproof. Um, they do a great job in sealing these up. And before they put a window up front, they already did a lot of tests on these with uh, you know pressurized water and, and all that with wind and rain. Um, just an awesome look on it too on the inside as, as we'll see. Coming up to the front tongue jack, electric tongue jack. It does have the uh, LED light for night hookups, um, up and down, very really easy. If you're using an equalizer hitch, which I definitely recommend for safety purposes and anti-sway control. Um, this is nice where it drops on. You latch up and then you bring it up and just have that everything lock in together, put your bars on and then drop everything together. Walk through that when you come in and see that. Uh, definitely mention the equalizer hitch and see the benefits. We do have one mocked up out in front of our parts store. Uh, great feature to have. Single tank with this, two batteries. And uh, we have your choice of batteries when you come in and purchase. We can do 12 volts, 6 volts, 27s. We have them all here. Uh, once again, we just uh, did end up talking about the uh, propane quick connect. But a nice feature to have up front. Set up your, your whole kitchen setup over here. Um, guys, let's go inside. We're going to show you the interior of this uh, RPOD 192. Start off in the uh, as far as the R pods go, they were notorious for the wet baths when they first started coming up. 178, 179, 180 was the uh, R pod with the first dry bath. Um, this now uh, just going through the evolution of the R pod. Nice big bathroom as you can see. Um, closet space is phenomenal. This also becomes you know possibly pantry space, possible clothing space, but nice big pockets. Shelf up top here. Um, good area for the toilet sitting down. I mean, it's just a comfortable spot. You have your slider pocket door that actually closes up <coughs> and gives you that privacy that you need. Cool little feature there. And then your shower, step up into the shower sink, hot cold water, hot cold sink. And it does have a little bit of a skylight for a little bit more room because you do step up in here. So getting up inside there, having a little more headroom and that skylight sure does help. Um, pantry space, once again, we talk about, you know, simple things, putting a mirror out here outside of the bathroom, um, having a window in the bathroom, a little bit of ventilation there, which is nice. Plus you have your power fan up on top here and it's a good, powerful fan. Um, I can't remember how many blades. I think they talk about a 10 to 12 blade fan really sucks out that air. Good deep pocket, you know, storage in your pantry. I mean, that's a full arm length in there. Um, three spots for that, for, for all your needs bigger fridge, so the six cubic foot refrigerator and separate freezer. I mean, gives you just all kinds of, alleviates coolers if you don't need them, which is nice. And coming into a convection microwave oven because we don't have a built-in oven, which is pretty cool. And then this is just, you know, giving you your counter space with your sink recessed with your lid, making a sandwich, you got all kinds of counter space, plus your table right next to you, which uh, this does drop down into a bed, a single bed right here. Um, but just a, a nice little kitchen setup for, for, for a 3,500 pound trailer. They really do equip everything in here that really helps out with your camping needs. Now getting into the Murphy bed, um, obviously, this is the first of its kind, um, you know, giving your couch a little more extra space. You get a little rain outside. You want to come in and read a book, um, watch a little TV, uh, which we do have set up just above the, um, the booth in the kitchen. Very easy process. Jackknife sofa. A lot of people know what that is. And stop it at this point because you can see the storage capability underneath as well. A lot of people don't know about this, but uh, it's nice how um, our pod and Forest River come up with that. Drop that down, very simple, very basic. This little latch, pop this latch off, you drop this down, 
and you do have a nice thick mattress it's not a thin as you can tell look out it's a good you know six inch mattress um, opens up and look at that space you have to sleep on it's a little longer than most queen beds um, that I find you're not hanging your feet off the end which is pretty good and it's a, it's a nice easy tuck away bed um, you do have your your two sides and even on the sides here we do have storage on the inside here on both sides there's a cabinet plus your additional cabinet space up here um, adding on to you know your lights on the inside of the cabinets and your usb ports next to your 110 outlets um, it does come equipped with a 13,500 BTU air conditioner set up to a thermostat. This is just a, a very well put together uh, design for our pod. And I, I really feel like you come in and walk through this, you're going to see um, just the space that you have in these. And looking at uh, a setup which is in addition to our pod is, is now done. Um, a main feature is the first time they've had a central vac system put in just below the refrigerator and a vac pan so if you know what that is you're sweeping up the uh, breadcrumbs dog here open this up and that's your sweeper and then you do have an additional uh, attachments that go in here hook up and that's your your central vac unit itself um, come down and see them uh, frank at motorsports land we'd love to walk a lot with you and show you what we have on site i'll talk to you soon